The American Postal Workers Union is rallying together to see change to their working conditions. They are pushing to have management see themselves as people, not profits, starting with accountability at all levels of management. We've had supervisors get zero discipline where someone who's a, a late father is facing potential discipline just for being 15, 20 minutes late. Postal workers, including Ibrahim Pedranan, president of the APWU Local 390, say they are standing up for themselves at the risk of losing their own jobs. It's bullying, it's intimidation, retaliation against people who are, who are just trying to make sure that everybody has a safe work environment. Slower mail as prices rise. Oh, Workers are also asking for management to hire more employees to lessen their stress. Increase the speed of our mail by hiring more workers, which is desperately needed. Vice President of the Troy Area Labor Council, Caleb Winters, says the issue he has seen in the post office is having a negative impact everywhere. And this does not only affect the postal workers, this affects state workers, this affects workers everywhere. Uh, we're seeing this across industries. The 200,000 employees represented by the APWU are holding protests like this across the country. They total almost a third of the United States Postal Service's employees. Strategic Communications Specialist of the USPS, Mark Lawrence, responded to News 10 on the protest with the following statement. The Postal Service certainly respects the right of our employees to participate in off-the-clock informational picketing on issues of concern to their membership. Reporting Colony, Anthony Krolikowski, News 10, ABC.